Kobe Bean Bryant left an indelible mark as an American professional basketball luminary. Showcasing his skills as a shooting guard, he remained loyal to the Los Angeles Lakers throughout his remarkable 20-year career in the National Basketball Association or the NBA. Revered as one of the preeminent basketball talents in history, Bryant's legacy is punctuated by five NBA championships, 18 all-star selections, 15 all-NBA team designations, and 12 all-defensive team honors. Notably, he secured the NBA Most Valuable Player MVP title in 2008 and clinched the NBA Finals MVP accolade twice. A prolific scorer, Bryant led the NBA in points on two occasions, ascending to the fourth rank in the league's annals for both regular season and postseason scoring. Tragically, Bryant's life came to a heartbreaking end alongside his daughter Gianna and seven other individuals in a devastating helicopter crash in Calabasas, California in 2020. The profound impact of his passing resonated in an outpouring of tributes and memorials. His enduring influence was acknowledged posthumously with his induction into the Naismith Memorial Basketball Hall of Fame in 2020 and his inclusion in the distinguished NBA 75th anniversary team in 2021. Notably, a poignant gesture was the renaming of the All-Star MVP award in his honor, a testament to the enduring legacy he left behind. Born on August 23, 1978, in Philadelphia, Bryant entered the world as the youngest of three siblings and the sole son of Pamela Cox Bryant and former NBA player Joe Bryant. His lineage was also tied to the basketball realm through his maternal uncle, NBA player John Chubby Cox. Curiously, his given name was inspired by the renowned beef of Kobe Japan, an item his parents had noticed on a restaurant menu. The middle name Bean found its origins in his father's nickname, Jelly Bean. Raised within the Catholic faith, Brian's upbringing was steeped in this belief system. Basketball was in his hands from the tender age of three, with the Los Angeles Lakers capturing his young heart as his favorite team. By the time he was six, his father's retirement from the NBA prompted a move to Italy, where Kobe's family lived in various cities due to Joe Bryant's professional basketball engagements. This journey took them from Rieti to Reggio Calabria and finally to Pistoia and Reggio Emilia. These experiences led Kobe to fluently speak Italian and develop a deep affection for Reggio Emilia, a place he fondly remembered as nurturing some of his most cherished childhood moments. It was in Reggio Emilia that his commitment to basketball grew, spurred by his grandfather's mailed videos of NBA games for study purposes and his fascination with animated European sports films that enriched his understanding of basketball dynamics. A multi-sport enthusiast, Bryant also honed his soccer skills, holding AC Milan close to his heart as his favorite soccer team. During summers, he would return to the States to participate in a basketball summer league. At the age of 13, the family relocated back to Philadelphia, where Bryant entered eighth grade at Bala Sinwood Middle School. Before we move ahead, a quick question to all the Kobe fans out there. Whom did Kobe Bryant take to the prom? If you don't know the answer, please watch the video till the end. High School Basketball Bryant's star ascended on the national stage during a dazzling high school career at Lower Marion High School in Ardmore nestled within the Philadelphia suburb of Lower Marion. His freshman year found him immediately on the varsity basketball team, an unusual feat that underlined his exceptional abilities. Bryant's freshman initiation into Lower Marion's varsity lineup marked him as the first in decades to achieve this status. However, the team's final record stood at 4-20. In the following three years, the Aces soared with a formidable 77-13 record, driven by Bryant's remarkable versatility across all five positions. Noteworthy institutions like Duke, Michigan, North Carolina, and Villanova were all vying for his attention. However, in the wake of high schooler Kevin Garnett's entrance into the first round of the NBA draft, Bryant contemplated a direct leap to the professional league. At the Adidas ABCD camp, Bryant's prowess secured him the Senior MVP award, where he shared the court with his future NBA teammate, Lamar Odom. His exceptional talent also caught the eye of then Philadelphia 76ers coach John Lucas, who invited Bryant to partake in workouts and scrimmage sessions with the team, even engaging in one-on-one -on -one mashups with Jerry Stackhouse. Bryant's senior year unfolded as a triumphant chapter, guiding the Aces to their first state championship in 53 years. Acknowledgement for Bryant's outstanding senior year performance poured in through numerous accolades. These included prestigious titles like Naismith High School Player of the Year 
Gatorade Men's National Basketball Player of the Year, a distinguished McDonald's All-American, a First Team Parade All-American, and a USA Today All-USA First Team distinction. Greg Browner, Bryant's varsity coach, praised him as a complete player who dominates, highlighting not only his prowess on the court, but also his tireless work ethic as the team's leading force. In a unique personal anecdote, Bryant escorted R&B singer Brandy to her senior prom at Hollywood High in 1996. Ultimately, at the age of 17, Bryant chose an unconventional path by directly entering the NBA, joining the ranks of only the sixth player in history to take this route. His decision made waves in a time when transitioning from high school to the pros was a rarity, with Garnett being the sole exception in the span of two decades. Notably, his basketball skills coupled with an SAT score of 1080 could have secured his admission to any college of his choice, yet he bypassed the college route without formally visiting any campuses. Ahead of the 1996 NBA draft, Bryant underwent intensive training in Los Angeles, engaging in spirited scrimmages against former Lakers icons Larry Drew and Michael Cooper. In a telling anecdote, then Laker general manager Jerry West recounted that Bryant confidently outshone these seasoned players, leaving an indelible impression. At that juncture, the Lakers were on a mission to reshape their roster dynamics. Their sights were set on trading their starting center, Vlad Divic, in exchange for the draft rights to a player, a maneuver that would unlock valuable salary cap space crucial for courting free agent center Shaquille O'Neal. Bill Branch, then head scout for the Charlotte Hornets, revealed that a trade agreement to exchange the Hornets' number 13 pick for the Lakers' future gains had been reached the day preceding the draft. Remarkably, the Hornets had not initially contemplated selecting Bryant. The Lakers strategically guided the Hornets' pick minutes before it was officially announced during the draft proceedings. Notably, this marked Bryant's entry as the first guard to be directly drafted from high school. The trade's trajectory encountered an obstacle when Divic, resistant to relocating from Los Angeles, threatened retirement. Ultimately, Divic reversed his stance on June 30, 1996, and the trade was sealed on July 9, 1996, coinciding with the conclusion of the league's off-season moratorium. Given that Bryant was still 17 years old at the time, his parents were required to co-sign his contract with the Lakers until he reached the legal age of 18, which occurred before the commencement of the season. Consequently, Bryant committed his signature to a three-year rookie contract worth a cumulative $3.5 million.